coffee with. And he... Good morning, guys. Nice of you to drop in. So, uh, we've been busy. Not as busy as we want to be. Want to get a lot more done. But sometimes in life, things just happen. Uh, it's supposed to be a rainy day today, so I can't get started on a bunch of stuff outside, but I can work on a little bit of it and poke away. I've still got to run uh, my power from my radar all the way as far forward as possible. We installed the transducer yesterday and ran that cable most of the way. Um, having some, I need to get a multi-tool, multi-oscillating cutting tool. I'll probably borrow one from uh, my buddy. Anyway, I've um, got outlets to replace that um, were just aged and corroded and um, pulling a bunch of line. <sighs> Still having coffee every morning. Not always with you guys. Let me grab mine real quick. A lot of things this uh, project taught me so far. Number one, you can't plan for the unexpected, but you can try really hard. Number two, coffee in the morning helps Andy stay uh, healthy, wealthy, and uh, healthy, wakey, and um, wise. -ish. Um, research, research, research. Be bold and humble. And number three. When all else fails, just wing it, which I'm trying to do. I, uh, gaining a lot of confidence from this, but also a lot of this is outside of my, um, normal stuff and comfort zone. And, um, I guess when we started the project and when I start with a lot of things, like when I had my deuce. I never wanted to really change anything because I didn't want to, A, screw something up or, mm, I don't know. And then I decided after a while that it was okay to make it my own. So I did, and I was happier when I did that. I've come to that realization a whole lot quicker with my boat, is uh, make it your own. A mm, couple of screw holes here and there in the wall or in a ceiling or you can patch over if you need to if you want to but if it makes your life a lot easier do it it's a truism in life that uh, I hope we all get to quicker um, it's Tuesday it's a little chilly here in Charleston it's 41 degrees supposed to get in the 20s later this weekend here we're gonna be gone um, but we can monitor our boat remotely now and all that stuff is getting better every time I bring something else new online so I've got temperature sensors in each of the engine bays which is pretty cool <laughs> I can monitor my battery temperature I've got a temperature sensor in my freezer and my refrigerator, so I know if there's a problem. And through a roundabout way, I have temperature sensors inside the salon, up in my living room upstairs, and outside the boat. So I can tell what's going on holistically, not through one interface yet, but it's coming, holistically on my boat. And um, I've shown it to a couple of people. Some people are mesmerized. Steven... Michael, you know who you are. <laughs> Stephen was stalking me the other day and uh, asking me when different power things were coming on. I, it was awesome. But the, the visibility that you have on all that stuff is cool. 
So I've shown it to some other people and they're like, yeah, that's a little too much technology. I don't want it. Um, and everybody has their own thing, their own stick. And I respect that. Um, this gives me some peace of mind when I go back to Georgia later this week where it's going to be 12 degrees. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Um, and it's gonna be in the 20s here, I can watch what's going on. I can see if my heat pump's running. I can see if the portable space heater's running based off the wattage draw of what's going on. Or my hot water heater, because gotta keep everything, I mean, it can get below freezing for a while. It can get below freezing in a house or a well-insulated vehicle for a whole day without any heat source before it really becomes a problem inside of there. On a really not well insulated boat, that temperature will radiate out a lot quicker. But if you have a couple of heat sources inside of the boat, you don't even have to make it human comfortable. Just in the 40s, 50s, make sure that there's no chill. The boat can stay in the water for a long time. The water in Charleston is not gonna get cold enough to cause a problem. And it's the air temperature you have to worry about. So if we um, mitigate that with a little bit of uh, heat going into the boat and monitoring it remotely, I'll be able to sleep a whole lot better at Christmas while I get to go see my family. So uh, we, I, 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 Sandra, I appreciate it. I, I went over your head on the uh, multi plus on the naming it refrigerator perry was a good name but i thought of a better one from the bruce willis movie the fifth element um i named it the multi pass see what i did there the multi pass 3000 <clears throat> if you haven't seen um the fifth element go watch it uh there are some characters in there and that might even be no it's not a christmas movie but Die Hard is. Those that have made it this far, put in the comments. Die Hard a Christmas movie? I say yes. Tracy says no. Just because she wants to, you know, have that banter out and back. I think she secretly knows and loves that it's a Christmas movie and thinks of Bruce Willis in a, the most Christmassy of ways. What are your thoughts? Ah, <sighs> So we're not doing any close out of the year videos yet. I've got lots of things to do. I'm going to post some videos. I'm going to do I'll edit while we're in the car back home, a video of uh, some of the things that we did during our upfit. Um, I'll do some snippets probably on Insta and, and other things, some reels, um, just to titillate you uh, about me sitting down in the, the bilge, uh, getting ready to replace the transducer and pulling it out and water gushing in and putting it back in but we found some things on our boat where the flange for that through hole was just barely seeping because the plastic fitting had not been manufactured to tight enough tolerances or whatever um, we were able to replace that and stop a, a, a weeping seeping uh, leak positive big positive um, just learning a bunch anyway that's enough of me rambling for so far today. I know Tracy wants to get on a video later. We might do a second coffee with it. And he... But until then, guys, take care of yourselves. I love you. I love all of you. I love all my friends and friend, uh, family. Um, pick up after yourselves. Leave the world a better place. Spay new to your pets. Till next time. Bye.